Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well. It is Monday and we're kicking off again this week with another new team. You can see it on the screen in front of you. So last week we played a lot of fun teams and I put a poll up on Friday to see which team you'd like to see most of all going into this final week of the Moon Series and it came back unanimous that you'd like to see this Mewtwo team. So just a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you who voted on the poll and I'm sorry that we can't feature every single one of these teams teams going into this week. So we're going to predominantly play the Mewtwo team and throw in some other fun teams towards the end of the week to celebrate the end of the Moon series, which is a little bit sad, but also very exciting at the same time because it means going into next week, we're going to be entering the Ultra series. So the 2nd of April is the official date for the Ultra series kicking into gear, which means that there will be no content on Monday next week on the channel because there'll be no battle spot rules or anything like that. And I, I kind of want to end up the Moon series on Friday this week and give it a nice send off that way. So in place of an episode on Monday, we're going to have some new content that I will be bringing to the channel going forward, which will be all to do with Sword and Shield news, my opinion on what I'd like to see in the games and just covering stuff as we approach the release of that game later this year. I'm so excited for it. So in light of that, what I'd like to ask you guys is if you've got any questions that you'd like me to answer in the first episode that we're going to cover on Monday, leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to give my thoughts and things on what I'd like to see coming up in the Sword and Shield games and other aspects just covering what my opinions are on it and all the news that we've got so far. There won't be leaked information or any rumors so far, but we'll probably cover that later down the line in other content. But to start with, just giving my opinions on the Sword and Shield games, what we've seen so far. There'll be no spoilers in there, but if there are, I'll obviously make sure that I make you aware before I pull anything up onto the screen. But basically just talking about Sword and Shield, what I hope to see in the new games coming out later this year. I'm so hyped though, Jenny, it's gonna be amazing. So with that said, We've got the team. Let's get into this first episode and uh, take me two out for another run. So fun playing it last week. So I hope it continues in today's episode. As always, if you enjoy the content though, guys, remember to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series along with our restreams. Our Flint Squad Circuit, a guide series which is coming out a week today for the Ultra series and everything else. Obviously the Sword and Shield stuff that we just talked about as well. So there's lots of stuff, lots of exciting things coming onto the channel. And talking about streams as well, we will be back with our streams tomorrow evening, 7pm over on Twitch. If you'd like to come by, we're going to be starting to play the Ultra Series. We'll be playing on Showdown, of course, because there is no Battle Spot support at the minute, but it's going to be very exciting. So do come over and we'll, be, uh, we'll have a nice evening all together doing that. But we've got our first opponent of the day, so we'll hop straight over to Team Preview. So our first opponent today is running a team. Ah, oh, he's got all the style points because he's running the Zygarde, Sogaleo, Incineroar, Toxicroak, Volcarona, and Tapu Fini. So this is quite a new variation that we're seeing on the Zygarde, Sogaleo teams with that inclusion of the Volcarona. We saw it do very well at a recent US regional. So I'd imagine with the Volcarona included in there, we're probably going to see a little bit more of that. It's going to be nice to kick us off with this today though. Um, Mewtwo has a bit of a hard time against Sogaleo because it can't really hit it very well. But we do have Groudon, don't we? So we can make use of Groudon here. Um, and Mewtwo, Tapu Lele, don't really care about Volcarona so much. Maybe, maybe we could go a Selgol. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think we'll go Tapu Lele. Um, I kind of want to go Tapu Lele and Groudon, to be honest. But then... The whole Corona becomes a bit of an issue. Um, and we've got to think that the Tapu Fini will be something that we'll see let out. I'm going to go Groudon and Venusaur. Do I bring Venusaur here? Venusaur has a pretty tough time here, to be honest. So maybe not Venusaur. Maybe it's Mewtwo. Groudon, Mewtwo. Lead with our restricted. Slele in the back. And then Incineroar. Incineroar! Let's do it. So good luck to my opponent. And let's see how we get on against this team. I'm so torn right now because I really want to win, obviously. I always want to win. But I'll not be sad if Zygarde Sogaleo wins. It's probably, like, genuinely my favourite core that I've, I've played in the format so far. Including Sun as well. I just love Zygarde so much. All hail Lord Zygarde! But hopefully we can make it work in Ultra. That's going to be the goal. It's going to be a lot harder because it's a completely different format. We have the Megas back and things like that, but 
I'll have faith and feel like we can do it. And it'll be a lot of fun trying it as well. We're going to see Tapafini Incineroar lead out for my opponent here. The Misty Terrain activating on the field there. And the Incineroar going to stack off one of those Intimidate straight away onto our Groudon. So, um, hmm. I think we could probably switch in Tapu Lele on our Mewtwo slot and just go Precipice Blades. Or we could go Big Bad. We could go Big Bad Groundium, couldn't we? Or we could just Swords Dance as well. Um, kind of want to get rid of the Incineroar though, to be honest. I'm not really too worried about the, the Tapu Fini. I am going to do that. Let's get Mewtwo out, save it for later, get our Psychic Terrain up and launch. Get rid of the, get rid of the Incineroar. There's a part of me that wants to keep the Tectonic Rage for maybe the Sogaleo, but at the same time, if we can snipe the Incineroar now, it does take away my opponent's Intimidate support for later in the game, and also that fake out that they could be using and utilizing to disrupt our side of the field. So we'll get Tapulele in. And we are the fastest Groudon on the field. So, Groudon going to be able to just pile drive this Incineroar straight away, which is nice. We get rid of that, and we'll see what this type of Finny does. I'd imagine it probably goes for Nature's Madness into Groudon, or Icy Wind, something along those lines. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. But it's not picking up a KO. That's the main thing right now. That's what we're, we're not too worried about. Nature's Madness, yeah. Does connect and into Lele. So out of the two, I mean, I'd prefer into the Lele, to be honest. Right. Sogaleo or Zygarde? It's going to be difficult, though, and I think this is the thing. Okay, Volcarona. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, we'll preserve Groudon for later. We'll bring in Incineroar. Um, actually, what we could potentially do is protect Groudon. We protect Groudon? And bring an Incineroar on the other slot. Because I, I'm mindful that my opponent probably wants to get their Misty Terrain back up onto the field. So I want to preserve Lele for later on. And have... Mm, it's difficult though, isn't it? It is difficult because we're going to see potential Fire Inium. I think let's get Incineroar in for Groudon and launch a, a Psy Shock into the Volcarona. And just get some damage off onto it. Put it in range for when Mewtwo comes onto the field. Volcarona might go for a Tailwind here as well. So if, if it does, we can get some damage off. And um, try and get around it that way. We obviously can't take full advantage of our um, Fake Out. Because of the Psychic Train. So that is conflicting a little bit there. Just going to see the Volcarona just protect. So what's this type of Vinny going to do? Hmm. Light Screen. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So strong as well on top of Finny as an option. Um, but we're not in a bad place right now because we can go for Flare Blitz and we'll just Psy Shock. Do I just double that slot? Yeah, I'm going to double Flare Blitz, Psy Shock into that slot. I, I don't really care about the type of Finny right now. It's just supporting, it's not throwing out any damage. And I want to take care of the things that are causing us lots of issues. If the Volcarona decides to switch out. And if it is the Sogaleo in the back, then that's fine. But if the Volcarona decides to stay in here, it's going down. Going down, which makes it a lot easier for Groudon coming in later on. That's what we've got to think of. We are going to see it switch out, preserving it for that Groudon later on. Zygarde going to hit the field now. It's not going to get that boost that you kind of it would use to, uh, kind of normally be used to with the, the Misty Terrain because the Psychic Terrain's up. So that's fine. We'll get some decent-ish damage onto it. There's another Nature's Madness coming out. Going to be into the Incineroar this time. some decent damage in the sun and intimidated we do probably activate that darn oh we get the burn okay RNG has been our friend today but we will see the power construct ability activate now on the Zygarde all hail Lord Zygarde such a cool transformation as well here we go right and the shiny variant as well so nice. Um, mm, ah, okay. Do we pull a double switch? Um, when's the sun ending? That's the thing. I don't really want to lose Incineroar just yet. Um, and I probably want to get Lele back in when we've got access to Moonblast rather than the Psy Shock. 
uh, and I can see the Finney switching out here to be honest. I mean one thing we could potentially do is predict that and go for a Flare Blitz into the type of Finney slot and switch Lele out to Groudon. We could have got Mewtwo in here as well, that's the other thing. Mewtwo probably would have been the better switch for Lele. Yeah, so we'll catch the Volk now. Sun boosted Flare Blitz. I don't know if it'll be enough, but it's going to do enough damage to put it in range for um, Tapu Lele to come back in. We're just going to see the, the Zygarde protect here, not wanting to be doubled up in two. Um, yeah, my opponent's going to try and get the, the terrain up, which they will be able to do now. But I mean, the Volcarona going down opens the door completely for our Groudon to come back in. We'll proc the berry on the Incineroar. Um, so setting things up quite nicely for, for an endgame for ourselves. We've got Sword Stance on Groudon, so what we can do is bring, do we want to bring Lele back in just yet? Maybe we bring in, hmm. The thing that I'm thinking about is getting Incineroar back in for the fake out, but is it really going to be that useful? Because it's making me question whether I want to bring the Psychic Terrain back in or not. But at the same time, I think the Intimidate's all we really need here, so I'm going to just bring in Lele. Get the Psychic Terrain back up, set that Mewtwo up for later, and just Sword Stance with Groudon. We might see an Age of Madness an attack into the, the Zygarde, but if that Finny decides to go for a Swagger into its Zygarde, it's not going to be able to have maximum use of it because it will be confused. So there is the risk there of it hitting itself if that is the play that it goes for. But we'll see. We'll get the Psychic Terrain up. See Sword Stance from Groudon. It's nice knowing that we're outspeeding the, the type of Finny as well. Could say Heal Pulse as well, it's going to be another option, just an Age of Madness coming out. We'll be into that Groudon slot. But with the Zygarde Burned, it's not really going to be yeah, doing that much damage. I and mean, now we've got Lele out on the field. Uh, we should be, we should be alright. As long as Groudon puts his goggles on, we should be fine. I think what I'll do is just Dazzle. Get some damage onto the Finny, and that hopefully will be enough chip damage to get the Sword Stance off with Groudon to pick up the knockout onto the Finny here. And the Psychic Train up as well obviously helps out against the Extreme Speed threat from the Zygarde, but I mean, it's it the burns kind of really kind of shut it down this game, which is a little bit unfortunate for my opponent. So there's the Dazzle game. Oh, does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weak. But we do hit the Precipice Blades. Groudon has his goggles on today, which is really good. Take down the Groudon. Not quite the type of Finny, but setting it up for that next turn, we'll be able to pick up a quick kill. We do proc what will likely be a Wiki Berry. Gets all that health back. So it's going to stick around for a little, but they're gone for the swagger there. Misses Groudon. So going for the Groudon. <sighs> there we go. Um, But yeah, I think now let's bring in Mewtwo. To get the powerhouse in and uh, we'll go for the precipice blades which now should be enough to kind of close this one up for my opponent whether or not we see the forfeit which we do there so yeah very good game to my opponent and a nice one for us to kick off with today so Mewtwo on track as always doing its thing I love Mewtwo so much you know I have like I know I said in the comments last week and thank you so much as well for all the comments we had in the, the episodes last week um, but I, how much fun I had with the Mewtwo team it, it really kind of it was one of it's one of the best like episodes that I've had in a long time where I've actually come away from it just laughing to myself because it was so much fun to play so it's just a really nice build in general and me too it's so threatening I mean the one thing that we haven't got is the Acel goal and we haven't really featured that at all yet so it'd be nice to see if we can we can do something with that in either the next episode like the next match or the next episode or at least this week before we do say CNR to the uh, to the team but yeah me too is gonna be interesting in the ultra series as well it's um We've seen a lot of psychic kind of usage early, early format in the Ultra series. Talking about Showdown, but um, Ultra Necrozma is obviously very popular. Scarf Tap Lele as well is another thing. So Me Too kind of fits in with that mold of stuff that we're seeing. And I think Nigel mentioned on one of the comments last week about Mewtwo 
as well in there because it's just so oppressive when you've got it out on the field and it's just, it's just natural speed stat and you're in a format now with a lot less scarf Pokemon and you can really tell the tiers of different Pokemon a lot easier than before and I mean it deals pretty nicely with things like Mega Mens especially if there's not a Rayquaza supporting it with its Delta stream but I mean you can have your own Rayquaza in there as well couldn't you? Mewtwo Mega Ray, would that work? I don't know. But we've got our next opponent. Gonna go straight into team preview, so we'll check out what we're going up against now. <coughs> and talking about Mega Rayquaza, look what pops up. Rayquaza. So we've got TFF, he is playing a team of Lunala, Rayquaza, Serena, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, and Amoongus. Right, so Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Has a bit of a harder time here, especially against the Incineroar and the Lunala, but we've got ways to deal with that Lunala. I am going to lead off with Tapu Lele Mewtwo here. What else do we want? Um, we want Groudon for sure. It does so well against pretty much the Tapu Koko, the Incineroar. It doesn't do a bad job against the Moongus. Um, and do we want Incineroar? Probably Incineroar is our last one, so we'll bench Venusaur Selgor once again. But I think going into this one, it's going to be important for us to protect and make sure that we're not like just giving up Tapu Lele Mewtwo it, pretty easy because they're going to be the ones that can deal with the Restricteds a lot easier than, than Groudon say can and Groudon's going to be there for the rest of the team I think so that's our game plan let's see if we can we can pull it off so good luck to my opponent and uh, it's going to be a good one yeah I wish we could just play Mewtwo forever just <laughs> Mewtwo Studios that could be the new channel name <laughs> I don't know <laughs> to everyone unsubscribing but no I do love Mewtwo I think as well because it's like that original legendary Pokemon as well it, it's always one of those things that I just look back to very fondly um, especially I always remember that very first Pokemon movie as well this little kid my mum taking me to see that at the cinema which was just amazing um, uh, and I shed a tear it's a sad film in parts, but it's it's super good. Right, we're going to see the Incineroar and the Lunala come out for my opponent. Now, one of the things we could do is snipe the Lunala, but at the same time, we have to be a little bit wary about that, that Incineroar that could do a lot of damage to our Mewtwo. Um, now, we've got a couple of options. Like, we could go for the Incineroar and... <sighs> Take that down potentially with a Moonblast, Aura Sphere. Or we could Dazzle. We could Dazzle. And we could Shadow Ball. I just feel like the Lunala probably protects here. We leave the Incineroar open to take us down. Because it's an easy protect for my opponent on the Lunala. Whereas the Incineroar has to attack. But there's a big part of me that's saying, just go for the Lunala. It's fine. We'll make do, it'll be all right. Okay, let's do it. Let's dazzle Shadow Ball. See if we can get it. No! <laughs> we do this every time, but I mean, it's because we're greedy. We're greedy, greedy. I'm a greedy player, and I want to get the Lunala. We probably, okay. That's way better. Like we don't mind that at all. That's fine. Get away with that one, guys. Okay. Used to do some nice damage to the, the, the Tapu Koko. It's a perfect time though, isn't it, to bring the Groudon Incineroar in. So, um, where do you go? I think you probably want to target. Yeah, so I'm going to bring Incineroar this side, and then I'm going to bring Groudon in on the Mewtwo, because I feel like that's probably the place that you're going to go with. Although, you probably know that Lele's scarfed now, so it's a way. A way more reliable slot to hit into with Tapu Koko, pending a potential protect on Mewtwo. That's the thing you got to think of as well. So maybe we should have switched it around, but at the same time, it should be all right. Incineroar. Here you go, big cat man. Right, get the Intimidate onto your opposing Incineroar, which is always good. Probably you turn pivots out, and then we see something like Lunala come back in. Sun up. Right, where's my opponent going? Volt switch? 
No! Yeah, you make the right choice, so fair play to my opponent. That's fine. What's this incineral gonna do? Knock off? Flare bits. Or you turn as well. Get the Coco back out. Yeah, there's the Lunana. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a double pivot, so that's fine. Right. What's coming in? Is the Ray. The Ray Meister coming in. Just gonna be Coco, maybe. Hmm. My opponent just pondering over it. Which one? Which one of the three do I want to bring in? I'm gonna say Coco. Huh? It is Ray. The Ray Quasa. Here you are. Okay. What's Ray gonna do? Is it got the Z move? Or has Lunala got the Z move? Hmm. <sighs> that is the question. I mean, we could just U-turn out on Rayquaza. I feel like the Lunala probably protects here. I'm just going to protect Groudon. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. And I think the one thing with Rayquaza that you've got to try and do if it is a physical variant, it could be special, for sure. Could have Earth Power. And there's just something screaming at me that it's got, that it's got a Z-move and it's physical. Ah, uh, you do protect. How dare you? Okay. Is Lunala going to protect then as well? Probably not. Doesn't fear a fake out. Oh. It's one of them. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, one of those. That's fine. <clears throat> hmm. I think we just... Do we seem it probably protects now? That's the, that's the issue that we've got. Um, I'm going to Z move it anyway regardless because just being able to break that that shadow shield is going to be super important for us here's the Z move from Rayquaza no from Lunala Ugh, this is going to be enough to take down Groudon but we've got nothing to switch in in the back I think the thing that we've got and not really done is made sure so yeah Groudon going down unfortunately um Sword stance, are you kidding? We do get the knockoff. Does decent damage, of course, to the Lunala, putting it in range for the next one. Um, I think we need to get Tapu Lele in here. So we do have Shadow Ball on it. Um, so we can take down the Lunala. And we kind of deny the Rayquaza being able to utilize that extreme speed that we'd be super wary about um, I'm gonna u-turn out onto the rear and do I uh, I feel like the ray is probably the one thing that does attack here maybe but I do want to try and snipe the Lunala with a Shadow Ball. And even plus one, we should get it from this range. Requires a protecting. Hopefully Lunala doesn't. And hopefully we can take it down, get rid of it. Making things a lot easier for us. Going into the, the next few turns. So, Oh, it survives! Oh my gosh, that's insane. That is insane. Okay, Carmine Lunala busted. I don't think we're going to be able to come back from this one now. It's all going to be on Mewtwo. Urgh. Is the Psy Shock going to be enough to get the, the Rayquaza? It's definitely sashed, I think. It would make a lot of sense if it was. But we're going to struggle against this Incineroar now. Ah, and especially the Lunala kind of hanging on. Mm. Okay. And the Ray plus two as well. It's just... Oh, this is super difficult <laughs> um, I think this is really frustrating now because okay let's U-turn the Lunala protect the Mewtwo yeah 
And hopefully the Rayquaza chases that Mewtwo down. And we can get the Lunala. Moongrace Beam, yep. Yeah. Where's the Ray going? There's no need for this. <laughs> really? Oh man. Plus four. Okay. <sighs> Gotta hope that the Ray isn't isn't scarfed. Uh, sashed, sorry. If it's not sashed, we've got a good chance to take it down with a side strike. But we've got to worry about yeah the type of Corpa coming in and getting rid of that psychic terrain, which is not ideal. Getting its electric terrain up, and then another threat for us to worry about. But we've got to we've got to try and take the ray down with the uh, with the Mewtwo now, and just flare blitz into the Coco, I guess. This is where we really want Ice Beam, but I mean if it's sashed, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully a Psy Strike Life Orb, even without Psychic Terrain, is enough to take down the Mewtwo, but plus two extreme speed. Pfft. Don't even don't even care about that. Yeah. Wild charge. This is a sad way to, to end to end today. But I mean we just got the 50-50s wrong all the way from, from the beginning. Um It's just one of those things, I guess. <sighs> Never mind. Getting beat by Ray in our final week of the Moon series. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I mean, we could have played this a lot better, I think. Um, but my opponents played well, so we're not going to discredit them at all. And uh, we'll uh, hit that quick forfeit button because there's just going to be a fake out on the Ray doing it. So we'll, we'll escape. We'll escape full. Disaster, which is a bit harsh, so we maybe should have let my opponent get the glory there, but they've got the glory, so very good game to my opponent, and uh, an interesting one for us to finish off with today, but we'll be back with more Me Too action tomorrow, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Let me know in the comment section down below, and also, if you've got any dying desires to have something played by the end of the week, let me know, and I'll see if we can fit it in before Friday, but we're going to be back with more Me Too tomorrow, so hopefully we can redeem ourselves from this last game. We had a nice game to kick us off with, though, so that was the main thing. Thing, wasn't it that's all that matters and there uh, we'll be back for more episode action tomorrow so thank you so much for tuning in guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you all again for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye